What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scoop and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, i got a really, really quick video. I'll show you a neat little trick that we do sometimes when you're, say, transitioning say, from technical diving over into recreational, but yet you still want to carry some of the same accessories with you, but you don't want to go through the hassle of, say, and wearing a dry suit or even tech shorts. So I'm going to walk you over here to my dad, and I'm going to show you a neat little trick he does to carry spare items with him while diving a backplate and wing in a say non-technical situation all right dad so i noticed you have tech shorts and just really quick what all do you carry in your tech shorts um everything in this side over here is anything that i might need my primary smb my reel my slates are in here my primary light on the right hand side is all my emergency equipment which is another reel another SMB, my spare mask, and things such as that, and my spare light. But sometimes I like to carry a reel just to run off. Let's say we're gonna do a little exploring, but we're not sure we wanna tie off to something. I'm actually using my weight pouches for that because I don't need any weights when we're doing decompression, mainly because of the extra weight of the tanks, and plus I carry an 80 decompression bottle. So I have my weight pouches here, and I actually carry an extra reel in those. It's a great place if you're not using them for weights to carry extra items. Absolutely. And just to clarify, this is not going to be the same reel that you use with your SMB. This Absolutely is just a not. spare reel. That is a spare reel that I might need. Let's say I want to mark a trail or something underwater, or we're trying to find something, but I don't want to lose where I come from. I want to tie off. It's just an extra reel that I carry. I don't need that weight pouch right now with the extra weight of the tanks. Right. So, And um, another cool thing I like about it, too, is typically when we just clip off a reel, we do run the risk of that reel coming undone and spooling away from us, creating an entanglement hazard. Here, it's completely closed off, it's secure, and it's still easy and accessible. Reaching down to unclip it from a D-ring or reaching down to grab it out of the pouch is very, very simple to do, and it's safe to do as well. It does work well. So there you go, guys. That's a neat little trick that we've started doing, say, in recreational senses. If you're transitioning out of technical into a recreational dive, but you're used to a backplate wing where you're not going to be carrying a lot of different things with you, such as butt pouches if you're in side mount or cargo shorts, as Dad is here, you can simply throw you on a little weight pouch, flip it upside down, or you can leave it right side up either way. Put your reel, your spare reel, and a, a line system in there. And it's a neat little trick on how to carry an extra reel. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know. Have you ever used, say, weight pouches or some other type of pouch like that to carry spare accessories? But that's going to do it for today, guys. As always, take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.